My name is Destiny Nock, and I'm here to talk to you about electricity. Most people use it every day, but normally people don't know exactly where it comes from. When you plug in your phone or turn on your light switch, what the heck allows you to have electricity boom around the spot? That's the power grid. <laughs> And when I say power grid, sometimes it's a little confusing about what exactly it is. But the power grid is just this big, ginormous web of power lines, distribution centers, substations, transformers that allow you to have energy come from a power generation center to your house or your business or your commercial enterprise. So, how does it start? How's, how do we do this? You know, how do we move it from one place to another? Well, first you have the power generation center where electricity is born. This can be your coal plant, your nuclear power plant, your natural gas plant. It can even be a wind farm or a solar farm. And you have the electricity coming out as a ginormous, obese, overweight baby. It's just this big ball that wants to come into our power grid lines. Then you have the power transformers, which say, okay, electricity, okay, we know that you guys all want to ride this ride, but you guys are a little too big. So we have to step you down in the transformers, put it on a diet, and just bring it at a lower voltage so it can go on our transmission lines. Once it's on the transmission lines, it goes further down to a transmission substation. So these are the big steel towers that you typically see. And then they're being stepped down to the smaller towers that look like uh, telephone poles. And so then, once it's on that, it will go further down to a distribution substation, which is kind of like a bus station. You have all this electricity coming in, and you have to figure out how to send it to some houses or suburbs or a business, you know, you have to just send it around and then it will come down to your house where you can have a flip of the switch and then boom, power, let there be light. And they say that the goal in life is to not make your presence known, but to make your absence felt. And when the lights go out, that people definitely feel electricity's absence. And if something happens on the power grid network that will cut a line or stop it, then all of a sudden you don't have power anymore and you're on the phone calling the companies. But, you know, it's a delicate process to get from the power generation station to your house.